Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming, I'm Brianna White and today we're going to be reacting to the official reveal trailer for Final Fantasy 16 that just dropped today at the PlayStation 5 Showcase. I can't wait to watch it, I have no idea what I'm in for, I know nothing about this and except for I think some concept art that got released a really long time ago. Other than that I have no idea what we're in for. So. I hope it's good, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Take a second to like the video before we begin and we'll get on into it. Enjoy. Okay, already I can see it looks good. You all know the target. No surprise she there. Is dominant. And only the dominant. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders, we follow them. Sergeant, let's summon their icon. Icon? That thing's a bloody mountain. Okay. Our foe will not relinquish their mother crystal easily. <laughs> this will be a bitter fight. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. Okay, some combat even. Wow. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge your sword to our cause? Cool. What does it matter? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Blight? Okay, Dragoon vibes. Awesome. Okay. Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Wow. Oh no. It's the Archduke's son. Phoenix. Okay. Wow. The legacy of the crystals. Has shaped our history. Okay. I'll kill you. If it's the last thing I do. Wow, okay. And there's the Phoenix imagery. Wow. Okay, so there was clearly a lot there. I don't even know how to formulate my thoughts about it. It's so interesting to me seeing new Final Fantasy stuff because of the r different relationship I have with it now. You know, I have watched Final Fantasy reveal trailers since I got into Final Fantasy 14 back in 2017 or 18 and none of them have felt like this to me maybe because my relationship to the material is different now 
Um, I obviously didn't know anything about this. And so watching it, it definitely looks beautiful. I can say that right from the start. Um, I can also say I, I love this Phoenix imagery. Um, I don't know if we've gotten a lot of Phoenix imagery in other Final Fantasies, but they gave us a lot of Final Fantasy creatures that we're already very familiar with. We saw their version of Chocobos, we saw the Morble, we saw all sorts of um, primals like Shiva and uh, Ifrit and um, some good things there, some really amazing things, but maybe I'm crazy, but it sort of felt like this is based on the world of Final Fantasy XIV. Like there were so many similarities. It mentions, of, and I know Final Fantasy does that. Like everything is connected. Everything has things that are, that are tied and feature in every single Final Fantasy, but this one felt very much like Final Fantasy XIV. I mean, your main character here looks just like the Warrior of Darkness, to me anyway, with like the dark hair, the light eyes, and the like moody disposition. I don't know, there's something about it that I just look at that and I go, that's Final Fantasy XIV, but in a single player linear experience. That's just the vibes that I got for some reason. And that very much excites me because I love Final Fantasy XIV and I think that everyone does. I mean, with the success of Shadowbringers being pretty much unprecedented in the MMO world, but also just amongst games in general, I'm, I'm not surprised to see that they might be leaning in that direction and trying to capture some of the success that Final Fantasy XIV has experienced by creating a very, this felt, like a very true Final Fantasy experience to me. I felt like Final Fantasy XV was very, very different and Remake is obviously very, very different, but I see a lot more similarities between 14 and 16, even though they're both completely different styles of games. I assume, I assume that this Final Fantasy 16 is going to be a single player linear experience like Remake and like Final Fantasy 15, but I guess we haven't officially gotten that confirmed, not in this trailer at least, maybe in other materials, I'm not really sure. I'm very excited about it. How could I not be? I have loved every Final Fantasy I've played, and I'm sure this will be no exception. It looks really, really beautiful, and I sort of love this like familial thing that a lot of Final Fantasies do. You know, it, it's like you have this royal son and maybe like he's the phoenix. And I love um, the idea of children having a role to play. I think that's always a really strong direction to go. You know what we didn't see, I don't believe, and I can look back through it a little bit, but what we didn't see is a ton of technology, a lot of this, so far looks just very much like magic and pure fantasy. It doesn't have that sort of magitech, futuristic, you know, they don't have cell phones. And so I'm curious about that aspect of it because in the modern Final Fantasies, you have a lot of technology being used and the, the, the juxtaposition between, and this is true especially in 14, the juxtaposition between magic and fantasy and modern technology, um, that has interplayed in a lot of the modern stuff. And if we're not gonna get that in 16, I think that's really interesting. I also, while I was watching one of the moments in the trailer, I got Dragon Age vibes. Does anybody else get that? Put in the comments if, if you are, because I, I need to talk about this, but I look at this and I'm like, wow, this really reminds me of Dragon Age Inquisition, which won Godi the year that it came out and was one of my, it's still one of my top five favorite games, Inquisition. I love that game because I just love this like, I don't wanna say medieval because it's definitely a fantasy thing, but like traditionally like medieval style high fantasy. Like I'm, I'm super, super into that genre and I love that this Final Fantasy seems to be heading in that direction. So you have these two main characters who are both, they look exactly the same. They have the black hair, the blue eyes, and they both have light skin. The only difference between the two is that one seems to have sort of like what looks like a maybe a gunbreaker or a dragoon tattoo on his face and his hair's longer and he's got this stubble and i'm wondering are they the same character just in different timelines like is one of them older and angrier or are they different characters or are they the same character but they look really really similar and then you have this image of the two swirling smoke orbs one is bright orange and one is blue are they going to be opposing forces 
there's a lot here and I feel like it's just gonna make more sense over time as we get more material, but this trailer was much more than I expected actually. It's not just an announcement with the title and the release date, right? This has actual meat to it. We actually got to see combat and with how impressed I was honestly with Final Fantasy 15's combat and then remakes combat, I cannot be more excited for the combat system in this game and I don't know just from looking at it but it looks super dynamic and interesting and we got a lot. We got story, we got combat, we got uh, the official title, we got these motifs and there's a lot to dissect here. I'm just excited to see more. So thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought, what you're most excited about. Do you already have some theories brewing? Let's chat in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, if you're new here, please remember to subscribe to this channel, Strange Rebel Gaming, so you don't miss the next video. What will the next video be? If you're new here, maybe you don't know that I'm playing through Final Fantasy VII Remake on my channel right now. So maybe that's gonna be the next video. Maybe it's gonna be some more God of War, maybe um, a little bit of Gone Home. I'm still working on getting that edited. So it's gonna depend on what gets up first. And if you're really, really new here and you have no idea who I am, my name is Brianna and I'm the voice actress of Aerith in Final Fantasy VII Remake. So perhaps you'd like to check out my playthrough. Um, I just posted the first episode and it's, it's a really, really, really special one. It's a moment that will go down in the history of my life as one of my best moments ever. And I would just love to see you there. So that's all. I love you all. Bye.